Good morning, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokémon Crystal Version. Last time, it was a very long episode. It turned out Team Rocket had taken over the radio tower, and it was up to us to stop them. It was a long night, but we saved the director, and we rescued everyone in the radio tower. Now Team Rocket has disbanded, and the director of the, of the radio tower gave us a mysterious bell. He told us that we should go to the Tin Tower and show it to the monks who live there. But before we go to the Tin Tower, there's something I wanted to do, which I started yesterday morning. And now that it's a brand new day, I went around Johto and I collected enough berries so we can heal Miltank. So let's go. Good morning, Miltank. I brought you some berries. I brought more. Have another one. And another one. Miltank became totally healthy. We're feeding Moo Moo. Oh, look at that! Miltank is feeling better! Nice! And you know what that means? Now we can buy some milk! You fixed our Miltank, hon! Now it gives Moo Moo milk again! Here's something for your trouble! Wow, thank you! That there's Snore! It's a rare move that only works while the Pokémon is asleep. You best think how you ought to use it, hon. And what about you? Can I buy milk? How'd you like my Moo Moo milk? It's my pride and joy there. Give it to Pokémon to restore HP. I'll give it to you for just 500 Poké Dollars. Sure, I'll buy one. Here you go. Drink up and enjoy! Nice! Well, I'm glad Miltank is feeling better. Now it's time to take flight and go to Ecruteek City. There you go. It's time to go to check out the Tin Tower. I took some precautions, I don't know what we're going to see at the Tin Tower. But I did buy some items. I bought plenty of potions. I've got some healing items. I brought Repel too. And I also got some Great Balls and some Pokeball just to be safe. So whatever it is, I think we're ready. We just have to show that bell. Now let me just remember, where was it? Is it this one here? Good morning! A momentous event has occurred. I beg your pardon, but I must ask you to leave. Ah! The sound of that clear bell! It... it's sublime! I've never heard so beautiful a sound before. That bell's chime is indicative of the bearer's soul. You... You may be able to make it through Tin Tower. Please, do go on. Thank you. Let's go check it out. A momentous event, huh? That sounds like a big deal. Oh, there's trainers here. Maybe I should get ready. I guess Jigglypoo can handle it. Let's see what they have. Legend has it that upon the emergence of a trainer who has the ability to touch the souls of Pokémon, a Pokémon will come forth to put that trainer to test at the Tin Tower. The legend has come true! The legendary Pokémon Suicune has arrived. We, the wise trio, shall test your worthiness to go inside. 
So it's time for us to take a test. We're going to meet with Suicune. Sage Gaku. What Pokemon have you got? Noctowl, huh. Well, that's fine. <clears throat> I think Jigglypoo can handle it. Let's see how much damage we can do with strength. Hmm. That Noctowl has, that Noctowl has a lot of HP, but... Oh, no! Oh, I should have known. It would have been too easy otherwise. But that's okay. That's why I bought all these awakenings. Alright. One more strength. Let's just hope it doesn't use hypnosis again. Oh, it used reflect. Strength is not going to be enough to take it out if it uses reflect. Hmm. Well, just one more then. I... I don't remember these trainers. It's very vague in my memory. Don't they all have the same Pokémon? Oh no, okay. So, they all have Noctowl, and then their second Pokémon is always an evolution. So, since we're fighting Flareon, I'm going to go with Goopy. Aw, cute little Flareon. I wish we had an Eevee too, but I don't know where to get it in this game. I, I should check out Bill's place now that he's back at his home. Maybe... I don't know, I always associated Bill with Eevee, so we should at least ask him. Nice! That's one test down. Stronger than we thought. Perhaps. Ah. So it is you who claim to have seen Suicune, Entei, and Raikou while they slept. Unbelievable! Legend has it that they can't be seen while they sleep. Can you be trusted with the truth? I must ascertain your worthiness. The truth? What does he mean? So it's going to be Noctowl again, huh? I wish there was a quicker way to dispose of- Oh! Oh, I know! How about... I switch to Amber and use Rock Slide. That would probably do the trick. Oh, it used Reflect. Of course. It would have been too easy otherwise. Well... Even if you use Reflect, at least you'll get some decent damage from a super effective move like this. Or you'll be taken down by a critical hit. Nice! Good job, Ember. You deserve that level up. Okay, Jolteon is next. Well, if it's Jolteon, I'll go with Nikita. I could have gone with Goopy, but that would be a bit repetitive, right? Besides, Nikita can handle it. I don't think Jolteon will try any electric moves on Nikita. Hmm, maybe Razor Leaf would be better. But I'm really looking forward to replacing Razor Leaf with a stronger grass type move. I mean, Razor Leaf is decent, but it's starting to be a, be a bit on the weak side. Considering Nikita is in her final stage, it would be nice to have something else. Something like... I don't know, Giga Drain, maybe? I'm not a fan of Solar Beam. What I would really love would be Petal Dance, but I don't think I can learn Petal Dance. I will tell you the truth. In the past, there were two nine-tier towers here. The Brass Tower, which was said to awaken Pokémon, and the Tin Tower, where Pokémon were said to rest. 
The view from the tops of the towers must have been magnificent. At the time, an immense silver-colored Pokémon was said to make its roost atop the brass tower. However, about 150 years ago, a lightning bolt struck one of the towers. It was engulfed in flames that raged for three days. A sudden downpour finally put out the blaze. And that is how the Burn Tower came to be. I see. Let me see your power. The final test. Sage Koji. All right, Koji. Let's do this. I want to hear the rest of the story. And I'm sure everyone at home is curious to hear it too. Let's go, Ember. We'll go with Rock Slide again. I don't expect another critical hit. I just want you to take Noctowl out the best you can. Even if it takes us two hits, it's fine. At least we can resist Noctowl's attacks just fine. The worst it can do is Hypnosis. And that's nothing to be worried of. And now it's time to face Vaporeon. When fighting Vaporeon? I guess we'll just go with Nikita again. Ah, Vaporeon. This Pokémon will always remind me of my friend Chanel from my ch from my childhood. We would make these stories where I would play Eevee and she would play my big sister Vaporeon. It was interesting making a Pokémon story where instead of playing Pokémon trainers, we played actual Pokémon. Well, the thing is, usually when I was a when I was a child and we'd make Pokémon stories, it always depended. If we were playing outside and pretending, then we'd pretend to be Pokémon trainers, but if we were playing inside with Pokémon plushies, then we would pretend to be actual Pokémon instead. So it was half and half. It was fun pretending to be a Pokémon too. We'd have adventures and everything, it was kind of like Pokémon Mystery Dungeon. Alright. Too strong. Why? You. Are you the trainer who is awaited by the legendary Pokémon? I see. We, the wise trio, have been given the responsibility of protecting the legendary Pokémon. We are to allow passage only to those people who possess the power and soul of truth. Please, do go on and enter the Tin Tower ahead. Suicune will put you to the test. Well, before I go, I need to save my game. So, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm ready. Let's go and meet Suicune. I wonder if there's an actual tower that we need to climb. Oh yeah, it's nine floors high, huh? That's probably going to take us forever. Oh! Or, never mind. It was Raikou and Entei. And they left, but Suicune stayed. It's time for the test. Look at that gorgeous Pokémon. Wild Suicune appeared. Okay, Jigalipu, let's try to use Sing first. Oh, Suicune made it rain. And it was such a lovely morning too. Okay, that's one thing taken care of. Now we need to do some damage, so Nikita, let's go. It's going to be very difficult to capture Suicune. I expect to use a lot of a lot of Pokéballs before I get some before I get a success, but that's okay. I bought a lot. 
Oh, he's awake. Okay, I'll try to do some damage before I put it to sleep. Once it's sleeping, I'll start to throw great balls. I guess this is the most I can hope to do. Oh my goodness. Even if I resisted that, it still did a lot of damage. Brace yourself, Jigglypoo. Be careful of that Bubble Beam attack. Oh, of course, Bubble Beam was stronger because it was raining. Huh, it, it also knows Gust. That's interesting. Okay. Well, it's time to tr it's time to start throwing some balls. Let's go. No, I'll start with Ultra Ball. Who knows? I might get lucky. No, not yet. I'm not giving up. Even if it takes a million Ultra Balls or ten thousand Great Balls, that's okay. Hmm, maybe I should do just a bit more damage. Okay, I'll use Shadow Ball. I highly doubt it would be enough to knock it out. Yeah. Okay, well, let's start using Great Ball. I wonder if you can hear Picar over the microphone, he's being so talkative. Are you cheering for me, Picar? Yeah. Don't worry, we'll get Suicune no matter what. Mm-hmm, I know. It's still sleeping, we're very lucky. Come on, Great Ball, don't fail me now. Two, three. Oh, that was so close. Come on, we can do this. We have to. Maybe I should use a water attack on Suicune. Just to weaken it even more. Hmm. Yeah, oh, I know. I know what I'm going to use. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Look at that powerful bubble beam. Yeah, I'm going to put it to sleep, and then I'll switch to Amber. Rock Smash is definitely not going to be strong enough to knock it out. So I'm going to play it safe and use Rock Smash next. I'll bring its HP down even more. Let's see. Let's go, Ember. Now, don't do a critical hit. We only want to make it slightly weaker. Yeah. That's right, Picar. Rock Smash. Hmm. I can't go for a second one. Its defense is down. I'll have to switch back. You're up, Jigglypoo. I can't risk keeping Ember out. When Suicune wakes up, it's going to use Bubble Beam and then Ember would be knocked out. And it's not something I want to see. When they say Suicune will put you to the test, they're serious. Look at that blue Jigglypoo. Every time Suicune uses Rain Dance, Wigglytuff turns blue and it gives you this idea that it's a brand new Pokémon. What color is a shiny Wigglytuff anyway? I actually don't remember. Oh, I need to heal up. I wonder how long this could go on. Well, how about I keep trying and I get back to you when I actually succeed? I'll spare you the pain of watching me try 10,000 times. Ah, finally! Suicune's data was newly added to the Pokedex. Suicune, the Aurora Pokemon, standing at six feet and s six feet seven, 
This divine Pokémon blows around the world, always in search of a pure reservoir. I'm not going to give you a nickname, Suicune. Oh my goodness! Oh, it's Yuzine! And the three sages! Awesome! Too awesome, even! I've never seen a battle that great! That was truly inspiring to see! Suicune was tough, but you are even more incredible, Chris. I heard Suicune's mystic power summons a rainbow-colored Pokémon. Maybe, just maybe, what went on today will cause that Pokémon to appear. I'm going to study the legends more. Thanks for showing me that fantastic battle. Later, Chris. See you later, Eugene. According to legend, when the souls of Pokémon and humans commune, from the heavens descends a Pokémon of rainbow colors. Could it mean the legendary Pokémon are testing us humans? When the Brass Tower burned down, three nameless Pokémon were said to have perished. It was tragic. However, a rainbow-colored Pokémon, in other words, Oho, descended from the sky and gave new life to three Pokémon. They are Suicune, Entei, and Raikou. That is what they say. The two towers are said to have been built to foster friendship and hope between Pokémon and people. That was 700 years ago, but the ideal still remains important today. We actually... we beat Suicune's test! We caught Suicune! Isn't that awesome? Well, I think our Pokémon deserve some rest. So let's take flight. Why don't we go back to Mahogany Town? After all, next time we'll need to make our way east. We'll need to travel to Blackthorn City. So, let's rest up and get ready for the journey. The sun has risen and it's now daytime. So, under the beautiful sun, we'll head to our next destination next time. Until next time, everyone, I wish you all a good day. And thanks for watching!